Hello everybody, it's Sunday and it's time for Tiddlywinks. And if this is your first time, then it's really great to have you with us. I'm Becky and there's a very important person who you need to meet and he's called Mr Tiddlywinks. <laughs> and his friend is called Tiddlywinks Ted and here he is and he wants to say hello to you all. And Tiddlywinks Ted has something he wants to show us today. And what's this then? <laughs> Is it your comfort toy? <laughs> Mr Tiddlywinks, will you stop interrupting? <laughs> and do you take that to bed every night? <laughs> oh my goodness! It's a big hairy spider! No wonder Mr Tiddlywinks was making a noise. Dear, oh dear. Are you scared of spiders? As I am sometimes. And our story today is all about Jesus' friend Paul. And he's in prison again. And I bet there are some big hairy spiders in there, don't you? But God helped Paul feel brave. Even though he was very scared. So let's hear the story in a minute. First of all, we're going to say the Tiddlywinks prayer together. So eyes closed and hands together. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. Amen. Remember Jesus' special friend, Paul, who we've been learning about. Here is a picture of the figure we made. A couple of weeks ago, Katie told us about the special journey God wanted Paul to go on to Jerusalem to tell people about Jesus. But some people didn't like him doing it. They got very angry with Paul. The man in charge of the Roman soldiers, the commander, put Paul in prison. Paul was still scared, even though he was locked up in prison because some angry men wanted to hurt him. Jesus came and stood near Paul and said, Be brave. You've told lots of people about me in Jerusalem and I will keep you safe. I have another special journey for you to go on to Rome to tell people about me there. Now Paul didn't have any children, but his sister had a young boy. Let's call him Ben. He had heard that some very angry men wanted to hurt his uncle Paul. What can I do? wondered Ben. How can I help my uncle Paul? He went to see the commander. The man in charge of the Roman soldiers. <gasps> Wasn't that brave? The commander held his hand and said, What do you want to tell me? Please, sir, he said. Some men are going to hurt my uncle Paul. I will stop them, promised the man in charge. Leave it with me. Late at night, when it was dark, the commander told his soldiers to get a horse for Paul to ride to help him escape to a place called Caesarea. He wrote a letter about Paul to take with him to show the Roman leader there. Then all the soldiers lined up with Paul, some in front, some behind, some on one side, some on the other. They took Paul far away to a safe place where those angry men could not hurt him. God kept Paul safe. So today we're going to make this picture of Paul in prison before he was released by the commander and allowed to escape to Caesarea. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is the Paul figure that I've sent you and this sheet printed out in yellow or orange card to look like bricks some lolly sticks 
and some tissue paper. Okay, so really easy. You take your brick template sheet and you add your poor figure and stick it on with some print stick. And then you add your prison bars and you can stick those on with print stick too. And finally, you take different sheets of tissue paper and cut them into brick shapes and you stick them on like this on your prison wall. And there you have it, all done. Well, Paul was very strong and bold in our story today, wasn't he? Because God was with him. And the lovely thing is that we can be strong and bold nowadays as well because God is always with us so we never have to be scared. So we're going to sing a song about that now. Be bold, be strong, because the Lord your God is with you. And uh, don't forget to do the actions. So um, you have to say, be bold, be strong, like that. I mean, Teddy's arms are a little bit too short to do it to do it properly but I think you'll be able to do it better than him and don't forget to shout really loud no 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 not me okay so let's stand up and get ready to sing it's time to pray now so let's put our hands together and shut our eyes and let's speak to God Dear God, thank you that you love us so much that you are always with us and thank you that we never need to be scared because you are always with us. Thank you, Lord God. For Jesus' sake. Amen. Well, that's it for Tiddlywinks this week and hopefully we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Christchurch, 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 Christchur